two minutes slow, but that's okay. Oh, it makes yeah, sense. I was going to say it's a 6 I like the 6 card. Yay. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Oh, all right. Pull in down here. Right here. Mrs. Bowen may be late. She's handing off her kid. Okay. The, the two that were that were available mm -hmm. at that time. So at this point in time, um, the there's only a couple, I think. That yeah, because the agenda. Um, oh, the Mary agenda went to get a today. copy. I think I submitted to her the ones that were approved after she oh, okay. sent out that after we got the agenda. Okay. So yeah. 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 Fine. I don't know if she. <laughs> that's why that. I was saying. There's still a whole lot there. Do uh, we yeah. Get mm -hmm. Down. We did. Yeah, we did July 11th and 25th. Okay. We didn't have August 8th or September 5th at the time. That's but amazing. now September 5th and 19th sh should be there, and I think she sent them out to everybody. So okay. if we want to look at the look at. Well, she forgot so. to send me the agenda, so I don't have anything. Oh, first time. Um, was it? Do you guys have the fifth and the nineteenth? I can also Are they in that they're in that folder. folder. I just yeah yeah, and I yeah. changed the folder so that there's one that's all the approved ones, and then there's ones that are just still the draft mm -hmm. ones. So it's pretty. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm learning how to do this <laughs> job. <laughs> <like that>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we want our name tags? I can pull them out. Yeah. Or our placards. No, we, were, we had them out a minute ago, and we decided we knew each other. Right? Oh, no, I just, I like right. mine, and I just want to. Oh, yeah, you should just come in. Oh, yes. Yeah. What is it? You got to wait called? till the end to take it home. Do you know what the folder is called, like, all these things are Uh, yeah. The task Force or something? Yeah, it's called Task Force. Task Force? Yeah, yeah. Actually. Yeah. And then oh. Task Force Minutes. Yeah, it's actually Task Force Minutes, isn't it? Yeah, but no, I can't. Uh, okay, so then, so it's not. Okay, so, yeah. Before I saw things in there. But, but now I can't. Now? <coughs> okay, see, when I reorganized it, I, so this. Oh, did you move into a new folder? I just moved them into folders inside that folder. And I tested with Francie, like I had, I could send her a link so that I could test to see if it would work and it just worked for her, that she could still What's see that it. Going there? But you can't? Oh, okay. Who knows? I see some of the individual ones. <laughs> I'm going to try something. <coughs> like I see our ones for right. Oh, it's a share. <coughs> huh. I can reshare. That may be good. Yeah. I wonder if you have the share settings different between the folders. Uh, well, I've kind of lost it now myself. Oh, that. there it is. Community yeah. engagement tab. No, that's yeah. survey. Yeah, I think you might need to uh, right. share each one. Really? Yeah. Share. I can. Very I close. Will. That seems like that should work too. But what is it? Google Let's is. Let's try. It. What, what is it? Thinks ah. it's smart. Perfect. All right. 1950. That's who I am. Apple. Okay, yeah. I'm an Apple person. Yeah. Hey, Matt. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Good. <coughs> All right. Did you find them? I mean, I see the folder where they would be, but I don't. Okay.
stapler, of course. Oh, this reminds me of office space. I don't know if you know. <laughs> Red stapler. Look at my stapler. Look at my stapler. I actually sent an email like that one time, and I realized who I sounded like. I'm not finding anything. No. no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want? Oh, I just sent it here now. I never get anything from Christmas. No, yeah. I sent it to the list that Suzette's been doing. Okay. Writing. Aaron, I just said that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, there you are. Okay. It's coming. There you go. Yeah. Dinner. Cheese. 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 So I didn't have the record of the April 10th one be like ever. It's not on this like needed to be approved, so we did get, was approved. I think we approved We approved that. Well, that was in the day. dark days, the early days. That's so very early dark days. Dark days. So I just dark days. Dark days. Okay. Until I got a chance to make sure that it's been approved. But, so, but I, I, I think can, we did. I can check with Christy. To Christy? Yeah. yeah. I can check with her. And, because she, well, April 10th, was, uh, was that the very first one? Yes. So. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It should have been approved, but I just I, I wasn't absolutely sure, so I left it in the moment. But I'll, I'll double check on it. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, well, if we want to try to improve <coughs> it, yeah. Sucker on. Can we do that? No. No. Do you have enough people? Yeah. Me. I mean, there's not like a whole lot to look at. Mm -hmm. Now we have actual proof that we're here. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. Yeah, right. yeah no. It's really hard because you can't catch, capture everything. So it's like, as always want to say, discussion ensued. Yes. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna break down and try one too. I know. Heated right? discussion. Like, These are the pumpkin enters. Oh. oh, what are these ones? Apple. Um. Oh, apple cider salmon. Oh, what are those? Huh? Um, pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin salmon. Yeah. If I had a knife, you have half. The apple cinnamon's are really good. Mm -hmm. Which ones are the pumpkin these? These are pumpkin. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was a good idea. Yummy. <laughs> yeah, these are good. I may need to drink. Where are these from? Price chocolate. Perfect. Yeah. Price chocolate. Okay. Yeah. So we can approve those. Okay. Yep. Hey. So are you ready for a motion to approve? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I move that we approve. Um, can we do all three minutes at the same time? Yep. Okay. I um, there's a one. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Oh. Yeah, there are the April 10th ones, right? Yeah. The April 10th are in there. Did the one? Yeah. yeah. That was the So, yeah, I just wasn't absolutely sure we had approved that. So, yeah, we can just approve them now. Yeah, it doesn't, sure. yeah. Cool. doesn't hurt. Double the free ones. Better to approve them twice. I have a you wanna, do you Her. know what dates she's talking about, Erin? Yes, okay. September 5th, September 19th, and April 18th. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Do we need to All those for Julie or Andrew? Raise your hands. Aye. 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 Google me for anything. Aye. Get in a call or do something. So, may we have an update on the survey distributions? Yeah. So, um, so we ran into a snag, um, and so the latest, do you remember off the top of your head? Mary? Um, this, that this week, up. though, what, there were 800, sur we were 800 postcards short, but they were getting reprinted and they'd go out this week. Is that, does that sound familiar? I can go back to the email and double check, but I'm pretty sure that was... Um, just have some of them already gone out. 
No. Okay. No. So this is what um, I had reached out, and um, and Kate was following up uh, last Wednesday, and then it, we thought that we'd have them by the end of the week, and. Um, she was thinking they would be mailed first thing Wednesday morning. Is that right? Uh, yeah. And then, <coughs> uh, and she's going to take care of the uh, social media, the Royalton and Bethel front page forum, and um, or front porch. Why did I say that? Front porch forum and the Facebook, all the WRUD Facebook pages. But then. Um, all of that is on hold because they were 800 mail pieces short. So this was from yesterday, and she said, um, I'll send it back to them today, and we'll hopefully be able to get these by Friday as they have the file all set up. I'll keep you posted. This would be delivered to mailboxes by early next week. So she's feeling horrible about it, and I just said, what? stuff happens. It is what it is. <laughs> we do our best. So that's still not, has not been distributed. Um, the fam, the uh, family survey has, and we got another, you know, sort of bump on a, two weeks ago, and I don't think it's really been much since then, but there was a bump. Um, the middle school, I can't tell, and I'm having trouble getting Pierre to respond. I've got several things out there that I, and so, and for maybe you and I can put our students? hands together. For students or for staff? For students. Yeah, I don't think we've done it. Did you put it out for staff? Yes. And it, we did get more staff, staff people. people. Yeah. And it was on the agenda, but we didn't get to it at a practice meeting this week. And then I think we were supposed to put it out there, but people are confused because kids don't remember if they've taken mm -hmm. it or not. Like, I think there's reluctance to give time to do it, frankly. But on the pat, uh, not on Pierre's part, on staff or faculty. Part. Well, I mean, we don't have to do it. Yeah, it, you know, it's not. We were just giving it the old college drive. Right. Right. That's right. That's right. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. In there too. Um, you know, I'm not seeing in having put it put stuff out. I'm not seeing a significant difference in the, the places like the where we did get more response. Right I'm not right. seeing a significant difference in the general and the it's <coughs> attitude. Yes. It's a long survey for kids that age to do. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. And then um, high school, they did put it back out, and we got more. Oh, good. Um, and then I have been. Um, Jamie's working on. You know, I, I've been at a hard time. I can't get the the dropout data. And, um, tuition kids and things like that, and so I called on him, and so he's going to make that happen. And um, and then I've also been talking to Jeff, because there were things in the, um, well, part of what we're going to talk about when we talk about the report is <clears throat> that um, I had made an outline for the report that was based, you know, just really paragraph by paragraph on the articles of um, agreement, which was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> but then when I actually started to do it, there's places where the same thing like strong relationship for, with a student, with an adult in the, in the building, is actually in two places. And so do I, is it, is it important? I don't know that it's important that I go article, you know, exactly in the order of the articles of agreement, in which case then, you know, what's the best way to refer them back, you know, see, see, See section blah blah on page three, or you know, <laughs> Maybe or do I just organize it around yeah. those um, connections <clears throat> and then use the outline that was taken directly from the articles of agreement and sort of check off to make sure that I hit them all? And I'm kind of landing on that because it it the connections are really interesting. What does that mean by connections? Well. Um, what we've asked or what we said the merger would do, right? Yeah. And then what it correlates to what actually happened. Think. I don't want to put yeah. words no, no, in no, your no. mouth. So it crosses into two or three different areas. You know? Right. Is that what you're right. Saying? I mean, one of them is um, okay. Let's just use the trusting adult. Uh, that's not a great example, but 
we have specific questions about whether or not students to families as well have uh, a uh, trusted relationship with an adult that they can go to for support. Um, but then I went into the schools. I've been talking to Jeff um, Thomas, asking, do you have something specific? You know, because the, the percentages were really high um, for kids in this positive way. I said, do you have something going on in school that speaks to that? And he said, yes. So then he sends me the handbook to his advisory. Well, it's also advisory programs are also mentioned in there later. So now I've got two things that are kind of wound together. And in the handbook for the advisories, specifically one of the goals is about developing strong, trusting relationships between students and staff. Yeah. So now it's more than it's more than just You're eighty percent or what it is. The right. It's whatever. there's something, you know, actively going on in the school to make that happen. It didn't just happen because of the merger. Right. So that's a that's a, mm -hmm. a one of the less complicated ones <laughs> that begin and who knows whether I'll find others because it's really interesting in the the way that and we set this up this way on purpose but there are sections of questions that we're trying to get at the same answers or the same same topics from different perspectives. Right. You know, I felt that way are, about our teachers the, excited the merging of the school excited. the elementary schools and stuff like we. They weren't leading, but we were definitely hoping for mm -hmm. the compass to point one way or yeah. the other. So, so anyway, so I'm inclined. It's it's getting complicated to write, but it, but it's more fun um, to really talk about the those interwoven pieces. And then I will just if but it's really up to you. And we could, don't have to tell me right now because I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, but. So I've been in touch. I was talking about data. Sorry, I don't know that. Um, so Jeff sent me that. He sent me. Um, I asked for the course of studies. There's a, a real specific document that's sent to colleges for the last five years. So you know the things about the curriculum that may have improved or may not. I've looked at what's happening now. I've not looked at what was happening five years ago. Um, but even that, I mean, it looks good. It looks really good for a small school. <laughs> From my is it accurate? Sorry, just making sure. <laughs> there was, uh, last time Jane I saw Jane the Jane. course of studies, it wasn't necessarily. It's like theoretically, all these things could be offered, but they're not actually offered. But I maybe that's changed. <coughs> okay, <moving> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Not sure that I'm gonna challenge. Yeah, that's all good. Back um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you sometimes you don't have staff. Right, right, right. Yeah, part, and you sometimes you don't have staff. Well, yeah, I mean, or they don't have kids who are, yeah. it's available to students, but if you don't have students that year who are interested, then that might not happen. So, it's anyway, yeah. it's about opportunity, so I'll put it that way. Um, so, I've been talking to him about that kind of stuff. Um, I was talking to Jamie because this ADM is very complicated and I hate using it and I was trying to use enrollment numbers and um, Jamie wants to use ADM. So average fine, then, daily then you figure it out. Membership, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, average average daily membership and it's taken for two weeks in October and then it's mishmashed together and then you gotta figure out tuition student. I mean it's just, it's complicated. And, um, and nobody understands it, so that's why I don't want to use it. But it was what was used in the Articles of Agreement, which I think is why he wants to use it. So. And that's why so people in the community don't understand the funding. That's the reference. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. Well, from your person in the community doesn't understand. Right. From right. his Where perspective, it's apples to apples. Right. I mean, I'll put the current enrollment yeah. numbers in, just, you know, so for some reason. I'll get them in there. But. Mm -hmm. Uh, so anyway, there's lots of that kind of data that's still kind of floating around, and I'm having more trouble than I thought. I had, um, I just need to be less nice. <laughs> now it's like, more. I needed it a month ago, and now I need it now. <laughs> right. But, we've been, we've been but I got, I'm not out of things to write about. Sometimes when I get out of things to write about. Those pants on. Yeah. 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 Andrew said he's trying to join the meeting remotely and he needs someone to let him in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's 
You want them on the, probably doesn't want to be on the screen, but. All right, I think I have to do this, hang on. <coughs> it could be sitting there in his undies, so. though. <laughs> it's going to end up on my screen, and then I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I'll just make you him. Just, I just can make him tiny. Just right? minimize him, that's right. I'll minimize him. Were you just joining? Yeah. I joined because I thought, did I create it? And so therefore, I thought I had to let in. But I think Suzette, I think you might have joined. I didn't. It's not saying I'd have to let anyone in. I have two People are invites. waiting, join to let them in. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's the right sound. That's yeah. me. Ding dong. Someone wants to join. Andrew. Which is okay. <laughs> and we don't get his face. Oh, there he is. <laughs> How was soccer? All right. So I'm just giving updates on the um, survey stuff, and the most significant part is that we, the community survey is still not out, and they're hoping that it will be out early next week. So mail. Mail. <coughs> yes. There is a mess up with the. Uh, we were short. I don't know, 800 postcards or something. So all of that is kind of. It's just slowed down, and we will just have to wait for it. It's nothing to be done. Has it been okay? Um, well, that was the that was the original um, decision that I sort of made with Kate. Can you guys hear him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, but we can change that. It doesn't it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it's now that it's moved forward, that the idea was that there was a question as to whether or not that would confuse people. That if it showed up on front porch forum and the and the Facebook pages, and then they got it in their in the mailbox, would that be confusing? That so we decided to do it all at the same time. But now that's different. So if if you guys if we want to do that, I just I just need to tell Kate. Just do them as soon as possible versus whatever. Is that what you mean? Or yeah. But to get it, it up with, in social media. Is is now. it the same? Is having the students try to remember if they filled out the, you know what I mean, sending the student one out again. And oh, wondering if it's the same it, or did, different. Did I fill it out already? Did I not? Mm -hmm. This is pretty close together, though. I feel like you could probably send it out and people can sort it out, but that's other folks. And if they know. can only fill out the survey once, they won't be able to access the right. survey twice if we have that oh. setting. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So, right. okay. okay. And sit there and crank it out. Andrew, did you hear that? I think we yes. don't. <clears throat> that was a whole debate, right? Yeah. Do we want to collect emails or not? Right. Because you right. have to have that on. Well, we said that. I don't know how we ended oh, up. That's right. I can't remember. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. right. It was, it was so a concern for me. Yeah. yeah. I think we tabled it. I don't think we actually made the decision. Because then there was well, talk. I'm pretty sure we did. Oh. I'm pretty sure we did turn it on. I thought. That's what I remember thought. That one. I think. Yeah, it was like the family survey that we were. Mm. Oh. Considering and turning it off for it, so. All right. Then they could. You want to hear it? Can you go in there? Y'all look and see. Okay. So, do we want to put it out on social media as soon as possible? What's today? Thursday? Probably be Monday. And the mail is going to go out mid Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could there be a asterisk somewhere on the social media saying, Please do not duplicate them. Um, well, Mary was just saying we could set it up so if they tried oh, to they do it a second time, they okay. could. Oh, okay. I, I don't think we can do that unless we collect um, email. emails. Emails, but we sure. are collecting emails. Oh, I thought, okay. Yes. Okay. I can't imagine too many people would want to do it more than yeah. once. <laughs> oh, I was able to well, <laughs> check off do not collect under collect email addresses, and I was able to. Um, turn on limit to one response. Okay. okay. Awesome. Okay, then I think we're good. Yeah. And I'm turning Magic. off allow response editing. So they can't go back and Come edit. Can't be indecisive. They yeah. must yeah. know what they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's fair. Okay. So don't I need to uh, contact. Go with your first <coughs> idea. Eight. Social media. And then I'm also talking, the other thing about the, the curriculum and things like that, there were lots of um, comments about flexible pathways and different things, different other kinds of opportunities for high school kids. So I asked um, Jeff to provide me with two or three 
examples, not kids' names or anything, but you know, uh, projects that kids either did through independent study or through flexible pathways or community-based learning or those kinds of things. And so he's connected me with Ben Boynton. Thank you. <laughs> and he and I are talking tomorrow at 9. So I'll get those. I, to, I sat at, in on a capstone. I was yeah. a sub in a capstone group. It was, it was, I asked each kid what they were doing. It was a wide range, interesting. Yeah. Well, I just don't think people really know. So I think it would be nice to just, you know, give an example of what what that means is yeah. non-traditional and but right. it's valid and there's certainly some of the ones that I've seen over my career have been mm -hmm. stunning you know just jaw-dropping mm -hmm. so um, so I think that they are you know it's a it's a good opportunity to give kids that can manage that so anyway so that's all coming together so Andrew I think I'm gonna have to share my um, what I did was, um, Mary ran off. You want to pass those out? Sure, we've got six of them. So um, share. My working copy of the report, which includes all my notes. and oh, So you have two there? I didn't want to make another another document. I thought if I had one more document, I can show anybody. So I'm good. Um, I think we have more than enough. So I'm looking for it, uh, Andrew, so I can share it with you. They have a hard copy. And I have a million tabs open. I could go ahead and share, share it with you. Uh, that's what I'm learning. It is. Oh, <laughs> no, it's, it's open. That's why I can't find it. Because and I just I'm looking it. at it. <laughs> share. I just did it. I just shared it with Andrew. Oh, you shared it with yeah. Andrew? Okay. You should have it. Yeah, I see that. Take a look. Yeah, so. Stop reading. <laughs> Let me just sort of explain <coughs> before you get after it. What I'm looking for is feedback on is this the style of the report that you want? I mean, I could make it much. You guys are reading. Stop it. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's pretty. It's not. It's pretty. Um, I don't know. It's just. I, I was trying to make it accessible. I guess. And. Um, Forget the, the highlights, things like that are, are reminders to myself that I either need more information or specifics. There's lots of that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm wondering about that part. Okay. Yeah, so if there's anything in there that you can fix for me, then let me know and I will do that. Um, the stuff in uh, a different color print is also, there's one down in the Outdoor Experiential Learning Program. That's the data that I had found and kind of put together and, I, and I'm using that to write and so I don't think I finished that, or at least I haven't gone back and double checked. And I have some individual things around schools I need to add. Um, so anyway, anything that's highlighted, it's not highlighted for you. It's highlighted for me for some reason. And, and in some cases, I look at it and think, why did I highlight that? <laughs> I have no idea. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, what I, I'm looking for, you know, feedback on style. And, um, and then what we were talking about before, um, well, before you came on, um, Andrew, I had made an outline that was really uh, point by point connected to the Articles uh, of Agreement. And then but when I actually started writing, there's a lot of interconnectedness on some things. And then there are particular um, goals, I guess, that the Articles of Agreement had that were mentioned actually in more than one place. And so um, I've started connecting those in the report. And then, um, and so the committee was saying I could go ahead and keep doing that and I'll just use the, uh, the outline to check to make sure that I have everything covered. So, take a look. Tell me what you think. Is this about the length that you're thinking, or is this like halfway done, or is this? I don't know. It's hard to know. Got it. Okay. It's hard. To I know you're. And there's a lot of stuff in there that so. is going to come. The data is something well, we, we have yeah, to talk about. Say, whether we, or not I leave that data, the data there, or I make a different document with mm -hmm. it, or we just link to the surveys as a whole, and people can figure it out on their own. You this was just for me. Enrollment numbers. What's that? Do you want enrollment numbers through the years? 
I have that. Enrollment numbers. What is it? Enrollment numbers. Enrollment. Oh, yeah. Do you want that? Yes, I do. <clears throat> you just send it to me? Oh, oh so good. Right. Thank you. On its way. Things are coming from everywhere. <laughs> Yay! Uh, well, no one the, asked me, but I have it. <laughs> the, the outdoor experiential learning in red, is that just so you have it? Yeah. To, to, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 So I, the only little problem is I don't know if we're going to be able to do this year's yet. Because there's an October date that we have to finish yeah. the state. I just, That's the idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If Jamie's doing that. Okay. I don't, I don't have that. Ray got me that, and then for this year, Jamie's doing it, and he wanted to do ADM. And so I said, then you figure it out and give it to me. Because <laughs> I hate it. I hate explaining it. Are you going to have to explain it to people when the report comes I out? think I already started to. I was going to say, there's see something you understand on ADM. It. You probably want to understand it. <laughs> there is something on ADM in here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The last widget box on the Got a resident and state place students. Well, I could explain what state place is. State place for kids that Foster. were yeah in DCF custody that have been placed in your school that are not residents. The families not have their residents. I mean, the state sort of pays tuition for them to be here. Of course. No, no, yeah. definitely not. Oh, and they have all kinds of extra doodads they need too, probably. Uh, Support. All, it all depends. No. Yeah. No. The, wherever they came from has to pay for doodads. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, doodads. <laughs> but they don't pay for doodads. My goodness. Right. Okay. Yes. So, so, when you yeah. think of the audience for this, this is primarily the board. Well, it's written, so that's a good question. Is the audience the board? I mean, that's who the report was. Um, that's who charges us to write it. To do this are we trying to, to convince the board, or are we just sharing with the board? No, I think we're just sharing what we found. Yeah. And then remember, and we're going to work on it some more tonight, that based on what we found, what are some of the recommendations that we might, um, might make um, around what to do? I mean, there was talk about whether or not it would have implications for budgets. I mean, one of the things I was thinking of just I don't know that this would be a recommendation or even if we would. Emily, do you have an advisory program? Yeah. You do? Okay. So I'll get more information on that. But you know, those some of those programs are things that, that are working, for example, in one school that another school doesn't have, but a lead up would make sense. You know, those kinds of consistencies. I think in places where things are working really well, that it's um, important for people to figure out what it is about that that works well. I have it. It's just really sad, and I've seen this happen in a lot of, a lot, well, a couple anyway, uh, school districts where they've worked really hard on a particular program or approach, and it's worked really well. Budget time comes, and it's like, well, that, they're doing really well. You said this, and we so talked about it. this last week. Yeah, so. If, and then they if, cut it, and then if, it all falls to right, hell on right. a handbasket, and, right. mm -hmm. um, and we're starting over. Mm -hmm. So really, spending some time looking at what works and why it works and making sure that that gets protected. Um, can we like ask you questions about this now? Absolutely. Uh, are you going to somewhere talk about like how many surveys were completed and by whom? Yes. Okay. I didn't see that in here and thought that would be good to just be it's able a good to put reminder. it in context. You know? I will put it right up here. Because I think it's kind of impressive, actually, how many people filled out the survey. I so do, it's too. Like, yeah. It's fairly broad. I mean, we'll see what the community one yields. But. Well, no, but it goes back to we should be able to tell our own horns at what we you know, did and yeah. how we got people to participate. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think it speaks to that we really tried hard to get this information from people that wasn't, you know. Yeah, we didn't just go. One day fly by night, people. you know, yeah. still <laughs> the general yeah. stores right. in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to answer 
I don't want to do it here, but any questions you have about the middle school too? Because like, I noticed there's a question mark here about like you know the outdoor ed and stuff. And can I approach you for that? Sure. I mean, I I can. If I don't know the answer, I'm happy. I mean, Pierre might be able to. I'm sure you'll be able to answer too. But I'm happy to tell you when I don't know the answer and okay. find the answer out from All right. uh, her person. I will. Um, I'll share with you what I. What and I'm not are? mad at him. I you know. No, it's, it's a, a it's a big play. job. It's yeah. just. <laughs> One of those. Um, so, if this were not the average daily membership and it was just the population, how close is this data, or is it, you know, what is, what is the actual body count? You know, what's the actual body count, Andrew? Yeah. I don't know that. Is it our office students? Yeah. Apples From, and pineapples, or is it yeah, apples it. to orange? No. I, think. Well, I, I know the elementary. I don't know the yeah, it's about 99 in Bethel for K to 5, not including preschool. And it's 140 something in Wellington. I wonder if this includes preschool. This must be because yeah. these numbers are 125 yeah. and So just, yeah. just add at least 30. Yeah, that, that matches them. And I think, okay. like we were last year, we were closer to 140, I think. And this says 125, so that's not too far. Yeah. I mean, even if we were just able to say that we're, you know, increasing or leveled out okay, or, um, you know, oh, X percent. And year. you have somewhere in here that you're going to include like that. I think we've had, we've had a big bump in the number of students at the middle school anyhow, and I think this has happened at the high school, coming from other, from sending towns. Right. And that, that's, that's not somewhere. started in here, but I'm, that's, um, that's, that's part of the data I'm waiting on. Looking at some of the comments people have made on this survey, and a few places people saying that we need middle school sports. We have middle school sports. Well, sixth graders are not always allowed. They they sometimes uh, have to play on their rec teams. Okay, so that's why that comment. Because yeah. I'm like, there's basketball, there's soccer, there's track, <laughs> cross country, whatever. Um, okay. Cross country, you can do at any grade, but. Most sixth graders, I think, are still with their rec programs. Andrew, you might know that. I think that's, that's, like, one of the, that's one of the questions. It's just weird, like, for, rules so. depending mm -hmm. on some of it's VK, some of it, like, Carl Ripken has certain rules. Yeah, so that's, that's like a whole. I, <laughs> I can't yeah. follow it, and I'm not going to lie. And soccer, I think it was just working with towns and being like, because yeah. we, the towns, and Andrew probably knows this better than me too, but like the towns run out of people for their kids, for yeah. their team, yeah. to take on the sixth grade. Yeah, or, or if the middle school couldn't get any coaches, then, yeah. you know, or yeah. whatever. I'm not Which saying they couldn't, or, or vice versa, year. the town couldn't, but we but didn't the, have coaches for them or whatever. So. But then that's yeah, why the, the first The first year of the marchers, or first two years, sixth graders played on the middle school teams. Right. Oh, and now they're in sort of eviscerated. Well, that's one of the community partnerships, so yeah. you know, okay. you got to figure out. So there was kind of, um, there were, so there were two, two things that kind of went wrong with that. One was that, yeah, it made it so that the younger levels, the rec teams, didn't have enough for a 516, and then they wound up playing kind of mismatched age levels, and it didn't work at the lower levels. But then, like, you have a basketball team with 22 kids, which. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Yeah. Yeah. And little sixth graders and big yeah. eighth graders, and it's just a big spread. Mm -hmm. Or well, little eighth graders. It was the whole COVID time, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. It shouldn't be by age, it should be by height. If you are <laughs> such a, if you're this tall, you play with this group. If you're this tall, you play with this group. This <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, so some of that, Andrew, <laughs> when I get to actually writing that else. section, <laughs> I'll be looking for other people to add to or correct the, mm -hmm. the details on some of that stuff. Um, so how's the general approach? Is that sitting well with people? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense to me so, so far, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Personally, I like it, but just the facts. That yes. Try and we don't have to embellish and mm -hmm. be flowery or I mean, to be, to be honest, I'm not using 
the comments. Mm -hmm. You know, I read the comments sort of as a, when I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm really not using it. That becomes, that just makes the, the whole, I think it's informative. It's good for, for us to see. It's yeah. good information to have. I just don't think it necessarily belongs right here. Mm -hmm. Right. Are you mm -hmm. going to have a facility section? Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just asking because I think it, it is in the articles too, right? We'll About the be building and who owns it and all that. I noticed that there's a new door here. Yeah. Just today. That, that yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's it. Right. There's right. none in it. It's great. And there's no hole in it. It does not have a hole that looks like a mouse. There's fewer toads in the hall. Insulation. It's been happening. Oh, you you can't throw a cat and a cow in a whole thing through through the yeah. gap in the doors. Yeah, so that's a little. Well, it was not an effective use of facilities. Yes, yes. That's it. Yes. I'm just, it just wasn't on your draft draft. No, no, uh, it's, know, on, just, it's on my um, okay, to-do list. I can sh share yeah. the outline if you want. Do you want me to share that? I don't mind really sure. I'm just going back to the, in the beginning, you know, like when we read the Oh yeah. So, um, I notice and appreciate that they're not really like we're not focused on test scores and stuff on that. Uh, yes, I'm, good point. I'm enjoying. Uh, like we're just using our statistics, which yeah. are meaningful, and we have the test scores in other places, so like they don't right. need that. Plus, they're a mess. Well, there will be some things in achievement, but I've been talking to Jamie about <laughs> right. how, to, sure it's gonna... how to report that. Okay. Because the, you, there's no, with the state scores having, you've changed assessments. Yeah. I think twice since I retired. I know. I, I know. Not yeah. It's not a good or thing. Or maybe it changed either. right before I retired. Anyway, it's nuts. Yeah. And, um, yeah, the COVID here. And, yeah, COVID and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, because, I mean, COVID really bled into like two and a half years or three years, you know, so it was. Well, we only got we only missed one year of testing, I think. For, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. As far as the testing, yeah. yeah. So it'd be high student school, first. It's your, it's your middle M S S T is middle school student oh, survey. Okay. okay. And then H S would be high school student student. survey. And then there's F something. Okay, because like some of them have like family numbers. numbers. Like if it's H S S T, and then there's like an eighty percent, ten percent. Is that um, like two different surveys that you were looking at, like staff versus no, that's, students versus? Um, where are you? Eh, there's some back page and looking through. Excited, engaged staff. Yeah. And that just seemed like okay. a very difference, and I was just curious what was. And it's kind of repeated. Oh, people. so the first one is positive, so that's agree or strongly agree. Uh, okay. The second one is um, that's strongly is the negative part, and when they don't add up to 100, it's because there were, um, you know, IDKs and things okay. on there. So that's. Um, And I haven't, I haven't added the family um, because I was looking at those. I was looking at those questions actually tonight, just before I left. And I think the only thing that we asked the families that that might um, connect to this is: Are your are your students excited to come to school? Mm -hmm. So uh, I got to. It, yeah, I, I mean, it sounds like it's more important, hit, like hitting all of the, all the 
parts of the official, the original like documents of the of um, the proposal mm -hmm. that it is using all the data that we got, right? Like some of it is going to be pertinent. Yeah. Not, yeah. There's a lot of data. Yeah. High school and E. Yeah. What are coops? What? Coops. Oh, co-op. Oh, co-op. Oh, co oh, co so. Um, I mean, but that's been a lot of fun, actually, is to go through. I finally got a system going, you know, to sort of go across the surveys in looking for the questions that we had put, um, that connected to questions in our surveys. And uh, that's actually been a lot of fun. This is interesting. Um, curious about one of, I don't know, I'm sure you're not done, but the last, the uh, middle of the back page, the last yeah. um, sentence of the paragraph there, the hands-on learning and opportunities to move during class were also described more negatively, meaning they felt like they didn't have enough opportunities. Yes, or so let me reward that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I assumed uh, I knew the answer, but. So hands-on, yeah, because they didn't have enough opportunity, hands-on learning and opportunities to move during class were what? Like they, they wanted more of oh, that? Or? Oh, I see. You're trying to use the language of the I can, survey. I can, I can yeah. change the beginning. Let's see. See, that's what I want you to, that's why I need you guys to be reading this. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's quite the run-on sentence I had before that. <laughs> I didn't read that one. Carefully. And we don't have, we didn't do any survey data with the elementary kids, right? So we're just kind of like going with family data for the elementary, basically. Yeah. Yeah, family, <coughs> family and staff. Are we, <coughs> right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Are we somehow capturing the elementary staff surveys in here somehow? They got the, no, they got the, the staff got it. Yeah, I it, it. is there data going to be included somehow in here? I haven't, I haven't really seen Well, I guess four elementary, she means. The, the staff. Yeah. yeah. Didn't elementary staff got it, right? Yeah. 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 I just didn't see their data quoted, but could be here. Not yet. It's not there yet. It, okay. I don't think I've done anything gotcha. where that would be. Um, and when I'm looking at staff, um, Then I'm looking at, I'm using um, the staff will Andrew's be a, ability to sort of pull that data mm -hmm. down. So I'm only looking at high school, I'm only looking at those. Yeah, that, which is great because yeah, obviously sometimes it's really different experiences, yeah. kind of depending on what we're looking at. Yeah, they, the elementary changed, but not in the dramatic way that the middle school and the high school changed. Andrew, do you have anything to say? Is he still there? Is he? Sleep. Yeah, sorry, I'm still here. No, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, no, I, I thought the uh, the approach of the report is a good one. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to really dive into it yet. Um, I did see some things that I can, like, I think I have some of the data that you need on my computer somewhere, so I'll try and send some of those things along. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I have any parenting this week, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> I thought your clarification of the, about the outdoor experiential learning program was helpful. Like, does, it, does it make sense to you? It, it does to me. Of course, I, I like remember the stages it went through, so I don't know if it makes sense to people who Karen, you want to? Yeah. 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 Y
when it was first yeah. sort of put out there about the Rochester right. program, and it seemed like pretty long. However, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, any of us that were here since the beginning. Bike, bike riding, and then like those food. things are an outdoor experiential program seems a little strange because I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a bit of a stretch. That's like a replacement for what was described in uh, Margaret Talks. Yeah. Um, so, okay. You know, I, I could see it being mentioned as like an outdoor experience that they get, but not necessarily like. I learned. You know, like. What they were, what the merger, what we were talking about before that was like, you know, outdoor education and like, not just like getting outdoors and riding bikes and stuff. It's more, you know, forestry, like wildlife forestry, or also like survival stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it was more than just that. It was also like kind of like Walden type stuff. Of, mm. uh, do literature out in the woods, and, mm. you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> We did that during the pandemic. <laughs> so, right. Go sit in the so could we call it just the how the high school outdoor activity program or outdoor? Um, they have a name for it. Yeah. It's still an experience because a lot of kids don't do anything. Yeah. That's something that could be done through Quest and Pathway. It's just not a program, maybe. I guess. Yeah. Um, yes, and the experience is a good thing. Yeah. Open their doors um, to. I'm so saying um oh, because I thought I put that somewhere. <laughs> you did. Yeah, just I thought I put that somewhere. Yeah, it's Which part? The outdoor stuff. Yeah. What it was. People could get to that through flexible pathways oh. as well. All right. Well, we'll find that. But I could call this the high school outdoor activities. Yeah. What did they call it, Mary? They have a name for it. Outdoor adventure they days. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we want to just call it what they call it. Or What's it called? He didn't even tell me that. Outdoor Adventure Days. It's done like three times a year. You're right. Yeah. They, can like three, they can choose like three. They can choose like three things each yeah. time. Yeah. And it's a new, oh, yeah. I think it's what it turned It's into. described yeah. really well there. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think there's any. I mean, I guess it as is. As far as I think I understand, it's three days, you know, three full days. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will. Um, Yeah, I, I, mean, I think they are cool. I just don't know that there was like a connective mm -hmm. thread between the deal and that. Oh, mm -hmm. Mr. Thomas. Yeah, no, I mean, the, the whole experiential learning program, I think, because I, when I was talking to Jamie about it, the first thing I said to him was, okay, not seeing any outdoor experiential learning program you know, how, how do you want me to approach? And he fired back and he said, what do you mean? <laughs> and he said, can we talk it to? And I thought, ooh, what happened? So his, um, this, you know, there's a total of 1.8 outdoor educators um, in, the, in the elementary and middle schools. Um, an eco program, I'm trying to get, you know, sort of the, the, um, the details of what those programs look like. Mm -hmm. So, and when I went actually back and, and looked at the description in the Articles of Agreement, that's where I realized that I was having some confusion about what was expected, because I thought it was more along the lines of what had been thought about for Rochester, but I wasn't the only one, I think, in talking with you and other folks that there was, you know, that that's what people were kind of thinking it was. And that's really not what the Articles of, of Agreement asked for. It's very vague. If you go back and look at it, it, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say anything about grade levels. It doesn't say anything about alternative. So, um, I mean, maybe... Let me see if I can find the presentations that happened around the repo that might have more detail on what that was uh, you know, I don't think it was, it wasn't ever really spelled out because there wasn't, you know. Yeah. Like with Rochester, there was kind of a plan. There was never a full plan right. other than this was a good idea and we should try and do it, but we don't know how. <laughs> well, and then we, we kind of pinch hit it with, you know, adding Bonna and, you know, having Melissa do, you know, so then it was go to the right, elementary. The, the eco program was not the same thing like that was something that oh, was happening okay. already yeah. on the elementary campus and then we expanded that that was kind of more along the lines of like 
as we bring our two schools together, we're going to take the strengths of one and share it across the other. So that's mm -hmm. where we kind of expanded that across both campuses. And I mentioned in the middle school, you know, it wasn't necessarily the same. Yeah, thing. same format, yeah. Or, you know, like from the same kind of push The, in the, she's that in this first paragraph, it said, I, did, I think it's a little confusing that it says, although three of the four schools now have staff dedicated to actual education. Like when I, to me, when I read that, I, I, I assume that means full time staff, and I don't think that's true. Oh, okay. So, and you, I think you just said like 1.8 teachers or something, so maybe it, like that could be in there or something, you know, like whatever. There are 2,000 of 0.8, right? Maybe it's not I'm not really tuned into what bomb that is. Two point eight, I know. All right. So I'm assuming the other two add up. Another point to one. Well, I think Adam's point five because he's half PE. There's a point he's five in the elementary school, five, and, and there's a point five right in the other one, and a point eight at the mm. middle. Yeah. And I think the two point fives at the elementary have been able to be fooled out either with health or with phys ed. You yeah. know that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they're full-time folks, but only 0.5 of the responsibilities are in the And in the middle school, I think it's 0.8. Correct. Because our... Yeah. And there is not one at the high school. Uh, true? Does Bonnet... Wasn't she originally going to... It do? happened, and then it didn't happen. Oh, okay. It was like an oh. intention, and then not a reality. I think they couldn't figure out how to... How to do, do it with a schedule. I'll fix that. Yeah. Okay, okay. that's the way I would do it. No, okay. but that's... Like I say, and then I think she like <laughs> I know what it's supposed to say. Right, it was an adventure trip, yeah. so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think she actually helped me. But I think she we didn't have her on the adventure days before, so I don't, I don't know. no, she the way she came, it was like yeah, yeah. 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 the way she came, it was a little midstream something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know what you know. I mean, I think that that may end up. <coughs> we can talk about this later. We if we finish this part up and move into recommendations that you know. There certainly was, and I'd like to see what the community survey says, but the family, you know, there's a lot of support. There are some comments in the family that they, well, there's some very traditional folks, you know, who just want, you know, regular classes, and that's, and that, those, op those opportunities are available to kids, and so I think as long as that that's there, that that's good. But it seems like the idea of, of an outdoor, um, program of some kind is popular yeah. to folks and um, so you may end up making recommendations that that be you know continue to be investigated or clarified or whatever implemented there you go <laughs> are they hard to find yeah well, the problem is, is I don't think that there's actually, is there, is there a, yes. like, there's oh, not yes. an end like this yet, right. so then you get into that mess. Yeah. Okay. And, um, well, we all only have two contract areas, support staff and teachers. So. Right. But as far as and teachers go, there's not a, like the state or right. state. No, no, right, right. You can't right. have somebody in front of kids without an educator license. Right, right. Mm, that's what I mean. Yeah. And if you do, and, and the licensing police, which I, have never in my 40 plus years seen um, the person whose uh, license is in jeopardy and that happens as a superintendent. Because that's like spelled out in statute. Yeah. That, that's yeah. a superintendent's responsibility. Yeah. So, because there are so many people can't out there mess with, them. with that kind of experience, because they haven't been around kids, but they could transition oh, I know. to that. This one. Mm -hmm. is too old yeah. now, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want high quality people, but there's, you know, it's just there's different ways to do that. Yeah. It's really about the, well, that's the time it's about one the of the problems. <laughs> yeah. Finding people that can transition over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to move on? Mm -hmm. Good. So I'll keep um, adding to this and. I mean, I don't mind sharing it with you, but, and you could use the comments, you know, there's ways to, there's the comment function. So why don't I do that? 
And then if you have questions or well, like we what does We can only be under commenters. You could, yeah, when you, you can share it, you can make that Just one make you a commenter. Yeah, yeah, you should share it. And then that would. Yeah. Because I'd be more, you know, I'm more than happy to share it. It's then, just, we're not, then we're not able to share it. You know what I mean? With other people. You can always make a comment. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's, there's, no, there's no sending this out. <laughs> we just want All right, let's see. <laughs> Ultimately, in November, will we hear from the board if we can use the data in other contexts? Yeah, I think that that's will be a question. Okay. I think there's so much data. I think about communications, Facebook photos, like there's so much positive that we can celebrate. Well, and I know it may even be a, I can talk to Jamie about it, it may even be a superintendent. Just, you know, he, he might have the authority to, to do that too. But yeah, no, there's lots of information that different folks would be interested in. I mean, we could even just publish the questions for folks, so if folks had an idea of what was, you know, sitting in those um, surveys, because it might be overwhelming to just, if you weren't familiar with it at all, to sit down and try to figure out what's in there. Mm -hmm. but. Um, so one thing I was looking at, because I've also been working on getting uh, information for the bond vote out, is I looked at um, the response for how important um, the music program was for tuition student boys. Mm, yeah. So, uh, I was going to include that in kind of information that goes out about the box that everybody's okay with that. Awesome. Yeah, and that, when I get to the tuition, when I get the those tuition rates, then that's when I'll spend some time talking about, you know, why folks are, why kids are coming that have a choice to come. And certainly, I mean, that is a place, I guess, where I would be using individual comments because mm -hmm. I don't remember if they were check boxes or whether they were was open ended. But we have check boxes on the high school. We didn't have middle school. Okay. But you're thinking we were that you're we've got kids coming into middle school as well. We have we have a big bump of kids from Stockbridge Rochester this year. And Stockbridge Rochester, that's they didn't they haven't designated, have they? No. They go up to sixth grade, and then we got. It's it's confusing for our numbers because we got like I can't remember what it was ten or twelve, which is like part of why we had to read the yeah. classes. I had heard that eight out of ten <coughs> Rochester kids came here. Yeah, which I think is a was it only that many? I thought it was even more than that. I think it might be more. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big number. I don't have the seventh grade this year, so I'm less. Clear. Well, and that's something that the merger thought might happen. Um, and was one of the reasons to do that was to attract those kids right. and, and, draw, and attract draw, other communities, yeah. other communities from within the SU, which those where were. Where they? It didn't at first. At first, they were all drawn to Middlebury. Some of those Middlebury kids Middlebury. Middlebury. go the other way. But they had a bunch of Middlebury, like, or I don't know, they don't go to Killington. Or Middlebury, or they go the other way. Stuff with middle school. They go west. Yeah. I'm curious about like the data around transportation. I think that would be really relevant to school board decisions and problem solving around transportation. I wonder about the raw data being shared. Will that always be available to the school board when they want to make decisions? Oh yeah. The I mean, data. I don't, we don't have the a data lot in the surveys. I mean, I just feel like there's some some information that can be very actionable that. Isn't that may not be included in the report itself? Well, yeah, but I mean, we didn't have a bus driver for last year, but we still don't have a custodian, you know. So it's like right. I don't know, you know, like it's there, but I mean, yeah. can uh, can they change it? Well, I mean, but I think you know, there's ways in the report. Nothing we're going to talk about right now, but you know, we talked about it earlier. Yeah. You know, so it's you know, some of those are the pieces that will affect whether people come or don't come here. Well, but I think, you know, bus drivers are certainly a statewide issue. Yeah, and, that's, um, that's an everywhere issue. So. 
Okay. All right. Well, then I will just keep plugging along. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Don. Yes. I need somebody. Yeah. We're, let's talk more about, or do you want to talk more about those recommendations? We, we had a good conversation going last time. Or, do you, or is, is looking at the report helping yeah. with that? And would it be more helpful to have more of the report to? What do you mean about recess? Can you remind me what, 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 what recommendations do you well, make? Well, the idea that and when we first got together, um, in the first couple of meetings, I did a fair amount of, that's a great idea, it's mm. a great thing to think about, mm -hmm. but that's a, mm. that's a future, okay. and it's okay. not about this, so I would write down. And, um, and you guys have been terrific about focusing on this information. But now is also the time based on, I mean, you as a group will be the people that have been the most intimate with this data of anybody. So out of this, in our discussions, what are the things that you might recommend to the board for them to consider, to um, uh, you know, look into more deeply? Um, I don't, we can't tell them how to do it, you know what to do or how to, I mean, it's just based on what, what is doing this, this is going really well. Figure out why. Um, where there's a discrepancy, well, that'll go with those discrepancies. I don't know, but, the, but the, you had things about programming and stuff mm -hmm. that, that you were well, interested was in. Was middle school foreign language? Right. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. That's like unhirable, I think. Really? So, okay. But I think part of it for jobs. <laughs> <laughs> but then part of a recommendation would be that that continues to be something that the community, the families are truly interested in, so don't give up. Right. Yes. Yeah. You know, and maybe there's just creative. because they're hard to find. Yeah. And I think it's personally hard to find, right? Because it would be like a point five. So maybe there's a way to make it. A one. one. <laughs> yeah. One. Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> Even more desirable. I'm here for two hours. Yeah, come, no, come in for ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. yeah, and yeah, that we should keep looking for sure. I think it's a huge. Yeah, so maybe the best thing to do, but I think it's hard to do as a group unless we've got some things that we've scratched down personally as ideas that, and then bring those back to the group next okay. week. Mm -hmm. And we kick those around and begin to get a, a solid list of stuff going, and then I will assign Mary <laughs> to put them in some kind of um, a coherent way, and then we'll work from there. Sounds good. Um, you know, as I'm looking, been looking through the data, like the, you know, the, uh, the the teacher ones. Was it Andrew? Was it you who like did that separate? work with the spreadsheets and like yes. made that awesome thing happen. Yeah. That magic. Spreadsheet. It was very magic. Yeah. And if you go, down, if you go to sheets and sheets and then you go to single question or whatever, yeah. then it, that, yeah. that's but what it breaks out the It's only for the teacher one, right? Like mm -hmm. that. No, it's on the student one. It's on the, the two on the, students and you the did the family. One. I think we... The last time we I started the family. I started the family. Okay. That's, but the two, the two student ones cool. and the family yeah. ones yeah. are all... Okay, can do yeah, that. last time I looked at the family, it wasn't there, and I was just sort of trying to ask nicely without just asking faculty. to do it. Yeah, the faculty. Because <laughs> it's awesome. And the students, it is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so that's, been, that's really awesome. Thank you, and it's been really helpful for me, like, processing the information. So, thank you, Andrew. Well, and that's the kind of stuff that I need from you, that if you're, you know, I try to make sure that I have sort of all those combinations and I'm looking at it that way, but I may miss some. And then I may say something and, and then one of you might say, well, yeah, but the, you know, the sixth grade really thought differently. Yeah. <laughs> In which case I'm going to say, okay, and I'll go back and take a look and yeah. make an adjustment. But, um, but I'm going to keep that format. Mary, you and I can talk about how maybe we might be able to make that a little bit easier of you know, pulling those questions together across the so. three, and then, and then I'll I'll have that, so I'll know because what it, part of that is for me to go look, all at the same time in those one pieces, but also to be able to say to you if you say to me, well, I'm not sure I agree with that. Where did you get that information? And I can say, well, here's what I was looking at, and then you might say, well, you know, there's a couple of questions in, in the community survey that are really pertinent mm -hmm. to this. 
and then I'll be clear on where I got all, all my where my data came from. I was just wondering if there's data on like staff um, numbers, like turnover is where I was thinking originally. Have that. Is that in here somewhere? Or like no, no I asked the central have. office they have that. And then yeah. I would also like um, I think one thing that people were expecting to come out of the merger is that like we would be able to have efficiencies, right? Like have fewer people. I don't know if that's actually happened or not. We well, that happen? that I had a good conversation with Jamie about that and about both things actually. The um, what was the first question? Turnover. Oh, turnover. Oh, turnover. Right. And that was out there. The spin on yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> notes in front of me but it sounded like there were a couple of years which often happens when there's a change in leadership mm -hmm. that there's a I also think of the pandemic kind of thing. Yeah. 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 But I don't know if they were lower compared to other places. I don't know. Lower than what? Than surrounding districts. or I, I don't yeah. know if there would be. I mean, no. The high school we went through. Well, the only, you know, and that comes back and maybe we make it. We don't have any questions, so I don't know how we ask the question. But, I, but salaries, you know, what, how you are looking at in terms of salaries compared to neighboring districts. Because that's really what yeah. pulls it. Um, and then the other piece was the efficiencies, which were clearly to faculty and staff, and that's gonna, that has a section that's not written yet, but you know, it was not working. And, um, and he was saying, and it's interesting because it was my experience as well as a superintendent that the efficiencies of sharing staff and those kinds of things look really good on paper. Mm -hmm. And they ought to work, <laughs> but they don't. And he tried it and he said basically what they had learned what he had learned was they don't work. So that'll come out in the report. And um, the, the other thing to note is that in the original plan, it was Rochester, Bethel, and Brockton, mm -hmm. and Rochester High School would close. So right. in that case, we would be cutting staff positions because the high school was going to be gone. Right. Once it was just Bethel and Royalton, there weren't really any staff positions that right. were consolidated. And everyone but was if feeling. You from the SU as a whole, Rochester's high school closed. Chelsea Tunbridge is high Chelsea's high school closed. So for the SU, there was a significant amount of decrease in staff. Right. Right. And so the efficiency was more that we are the lone remaining high school, and students would come to us as opposed to like us with the same staff as opposed to us cutting. Mm -hmm. staff. Right. Right. So if you look at the SU as a whole, it's. Yeah, and so you know, we talked about some of those things that look good on paper, and that, and I have notes from him that sort of said that we did these things and they worked, and they or they didn't work. And so I think in in most cases, you know, it's about that the transparency of the report. We looked into it, and people it wasn't that people didn't try. It's either like Andrew said, doesn't really um, apply to your school district, but to the SU as a whole, and um, you know other ways to do that. So, I also would just add that sometimes in other mergers they riff everybody, mm -hmm. and I think to make this more palatable, we just all came together. There was no mm -hmm. riffing and resorting, right? Well, that's just horrible for. But I'm just putting it out there, right? That's and so we had, for we had Bethel teachers and Royalton teachers stuff. that were not on the same pay scale right. for a while. But like, like until this year. For real, yeah. right? Like so that that was. So we're happy that they're as happy as they are considering. That was not is an easy. No. Sure. What's mm -hmm. real fix in your story? Uh, oh, reduce reduction in force. force. So for a while, we were operating with two separate teacher contracts. And so when you have teachers you have come together, and you're like, oh, you know, let's all play nice in the sandbox, but you get paid 5000 more a year than me for doing the same job. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't remember what the, yeah, the rub like was that. specifically. Yeah. But. <laughs> It was a long time that that didn't get. Was it royalty yeah. teachers the higher pay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's one of the old Whitcomb teachers, I can tell you. That, that. is something that like if, if we could go back and do better, yeah. that part could have been a little yeah. better. <laughs> that's a long shroom. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. It finally got remedied. So oh, that, that, that was true even wow. within the town yes, in Woodstock. If I was working at Woodstock Elementary instead of Woodstock Middle School, I would have been earning $10,000 more a year. Right. Well, oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Randolph. Yeah. Randolph is. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah.
So do you have a do you have an SUI contract or just an SUI contract? We have an SUI contract. Okay, so we negotiated this year. I will do that as homework if people can take it. <coughs> and then if, if you um, you know so suggestions suggestions or guidance to give the board. I mean, I can't even really say see. this out loud because I don't want to say this out loud. But like, really, there. You said it. Everyone here said there's there's so much rich in the comments in the actionable items that are like the metrics. There's another place is like the board should really treat to dig into this. Yeah. I mean, they should look at this summary. This is wonderful, but sometimes we have a retreat. And I don't always feel like we have a lot to do, but like, there's a lot that could come out of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think that, you know, I think that all those well, I things are... I, I think, yeah, yeah. realistically, there's a lot to the board to chew on. And the board to retreat that. No. <laughs> and to keep your task force hat on. Yeah. Hat on. <laughs> well, yeah. I think teachers yeah. would appreciate learning. I, yeah, I think so. Absolutely. See, all well. of that stuff. Absolutely. Write it down, okay. and then we'll give it some shape, okay. and then we'll start getting that down in parallel with... Uh, with what I'm doing here and Andrew's doing for the finance. <laughs> um, okay, so the only other thing that I wanted to talk to you about were dates because we we originally had a meeting um, scheduled for next week and that was when we were looking at an October um, report. Oh, did we push and it since, out again? Well, we had, God, yeah, we had to God bless the community yeah, <laughs> surveys right, not right, 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 right. I'm um, hoping for November, if we can get the community survey out, because I'll be able to write, I think I'll be able to write a lot of this without that, and then be prepared. Some of the community stuff is unique to that mm -hmm. survey, and it doesn't have any connection to, necessarily, to the, the other surveys, and then in places where it does, I think I can just go back and make adjustments. Yeah. So I'm just going to go, we'll see what ahead. But I was going to suggest that we not meet on the 10th. And just go back to our every other week, which would be the 17th. Mm -hmm. 17th. But I don't so think we, we want to meet on Halloween. There's a school board. Only if we come across it. Yeah. Is there a yeah. school board meeting on the 17th? What am I doing on the 10th? Oh, that was I the. Oh, yeah, you work on Am I deleting it? Yeah, she just said like, we're not. Oh, right. I think there is. No, I'm not going to say No, but that was the 15th. I don't think on Tuesday. Oh, 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 are we not on the 10th? Oh, oh, is that what you're saying? Oh, not on the 10th. I'm saying we're not on the 10th. We are on the 17th. Focus, focus, people. Okay. And then maybe not Halloween, but or yeah. maybe? I don't know. Oh, please no. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. We have a police officer that will not be happy with that. Well, there's a bad guy to arrest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you want to do about Halloween? Shoot. Move it a day. I mean, I yeah, it, I yeah. It's, it's, well, should we just try to move it like to Wednesday? Does it matter? Wednesday is good for that. Uh, yeah. We, I am remembering There's a bond that information. Oh, that's the bond vote. And, and we also have good. conferences that week. I think. Oh, goody. Okay, that was just goody. like a nasty week. All right, let's just get ourselves though, yeah. out of there. Did, and you, then we'll, did the middle school pick which that Which means week? we'll look at seven. We are that week, but November? Seventh of November. We're just going to skip Halloween. Yeah. Okay, and then. Let's Andrew, do you, do you are you guys the second or the third Tuesday? Third. Third okay. Tuesday and third. Oh, it's the 19th. Okay, I'm going to write board report. Okay. You, should we stick to 6.30 or do you want to do 5.30? Let's November. back it up a lot earlier. 5.30 yeah. is good. If we're in November, does it yeah, matter to you? Yeah, because it's Andrew? dark. It is. It does not. I have done my soccer at that point. Okay. Okay. Do you want to yeah. move back to 5.30? It's fine with me. I would. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Who's that? 5.30 on the 7th, okay, and then I am going to say um, that we're going to have one on the 14th as well because that's right before the report. The, report. So the final read? read. Yeah. Um, and you should have, Emily, all of you should expect to be at a board meeting on that. I was just making it for my calendar. Do you want me to do that? I can do it. I can just read copy what I already did. Okay. All right, so 10 and 7 and... So we skipped the 31st, like so we're we did. at the 7th and the 14th. Yeah, I can do that. That's correct. If I'm not oh. here on the October one, then somebody tries to get it. Uh, uh, and the, the one, I 
if you go back in October, today, it's still at 6 30, correct? On the 17th, is still at 6 30 because yes. soccer's still in session and whatnot. Yes. Okay. And then we'll I will okay. be flying that day, so there's, okay. I can't even I'm Google this merger. Merger this one. Ooh, where are you going? Why All right, we clear? Ooh. Okay, what are our Andrew, are you clear? October 17th. All right. I was going to say, it sounds like um, yeah. can we Can we go through the dates together? Sure. Okay, so. What's I have, so I'll just tell you what I have. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we have October 17th. Okay, October 17th. 6 30. 6 or are we changing that? No, I think 6.30. 6.30. Okay. And then we have, oh my gosh. Then we have November 7th. So it's 6.30 to what time? 8. 8. Okay, let me change that here. November. And then November 7th from 5.30 to 7. Okay, hold on, let me go. And then November Wait, hold on, 14th. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. So we said the 17th? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure that's there. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to and which date after meeting. the 17th? What time is the school seven? board meeting start? Oh, and then, so that's a like a mm -hmm. couple, couple of weeks. Okay. 6.30 to 8, or we're going back to 5.30? 5.30. On the 7th and 14th to 5.30. 5.30 to 7. What time is the board meeting, Andrew? Seven o'clock. Seven. Seven o'clock. So after and where is seven, that? Where am I now? Um, must be back here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're we're here. The next one. Library. Yeah. This is on yeah. November nineteenth. Oh wait, November now. October, yeah, October we're 19th. here. Oh, okay. So now November we're back in November fourteenth. Yeah. I just November want to make sure I got it right. At 5 Excellent. Okay, where's the board meeting on the 19th? Of November? So we will It'll be back in, in Royalton. Okay. And do I want to see? Aaron, do you know where you're going? No, where in <laughs> Where do you guys meet? In oh, the in class? the high school the library. Okay, thank you. And there's usually signage. Thanks for that. And, and you can, it's virtual as well, right? Yes. It's also yeah. always virtual. It's, but you guys have worked hard on this. You should be there. So when will the board? Oh, so that's when they'll present or learn of it. We're going to okay. on the, on the we'll when? do some presenta presenting of it. We can kind of kick oh, that around. And, and what time on is that? On the nineteenth. Seven o'clock. Seven on the nineteenth. Yeah. November nineteenth, seven p.m. It's in Royal High School right. Library in Royalton. And one of the same. What should I put as an end time? We don't know what time we're in. Okay. Um, Not the town. Yeah. No. <laughs> the other thing that you might think of what we could talk about next week, too, is that the actual board meeting. Um, I mean, I haven't talked to Jamie or Andrew with your chair hat on. Um, what you're, what you're going to give us for time. But there's a piece of me. I mean, we've been getting together since April. This is a big, this is a big deal, and so I think that there are pieces of it that I mean, I wouldn't want to walk people through it, read for them. But at the same time, I think that we could talk about divvying it up, or what are the sections that whoever is comfortable talking before the board that we could highlight and. And or talk about process and you know those kinds of things because I think it, that's important. And uh, what else do they have going on for that? Have we already done the, the budget and everything? No, that, no, there'll be well, budgeting. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There'll be budget that's on the that. The beginning of it. Yeah. Be well, I guess that's what all I'm saying. And you'll be talking about your bond vote, right? Different other things. Because the vote will have been. The bond vote is on the 30th? Yeah. Oh, the bond vote, yeah. So, yeah, so you might be really busy and not want to give us a lot of time, but it would be good to know what we would have for time. Mm -hmm. And then we can go from there. Uh, yeah. Closer, yeah. Well, and then you and I had talked about too, you know, in terms of the data and the report. Do we want to do it? You know, have links to the 
to the raw data or or have that be in a separate electronic folder or you know how do we want to do that? Independence. Yeah. So Yeah, I mean I think if we as long as it's anonymized, I'm fine with sharing the data. I think we can make sure we're not whatever responses we provide, you know, people can't figure out who's said what. Right. There's, yeah, I yeah. think some of the comments are a little too pointed. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah. we can, they, right. some of that stuff we can pull. And, yeah, especially the teacher comments. Yeah, yeah. 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 so I, I want to be really thoughtful about that. Um, but I also think that, yeah, like you said, Mary and Andrew, that there's really good information in there for yeah. folks to be. Sure. Yeah, I think it depends on who so. gets what information. I think the board should see it all, right? But mm. I worry about the public getting that level right. of detail. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, because I mean, I it, feel like it is. When you live in a small community, there's always the, yeah. 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 oh, I wonder who said that. Oh, yeah. I bet it was so and so. Because we know that person that uses that phrase all the time. Right. 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 We also think we have to remember, too, that what we put out, new people are looking at our school based on this, too. So, mm -hmm. yeah. If they might consider us, they want to see that we're thoughtful. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know, there were some really nice comments too. Yeah. There were. Yeah. People took some time to, you know, it wasn't just one of that, that, that the only time you ever hear anything is right. um, no, you hear that complaint. Um, so, billboard. Yeah. That was nice. Only okay. if you follow. True. 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 I'm good, people. I don't go on to those. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank you.